Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Hillsborough County, Florida, where we find Aselmo, who we haven't seen in quite a while, making a nuisance of himself once again. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and try not to smash your computer screen, because this guy can get pretty damn annoying. Elmo, this is such riveting, groundbreaking, ultra nationalistic, great content that you're exposing the tyranny of a woman in the break room. I mean, what the hell, dude? Always like to keep my audience riveted. Where are you taking a picture of? I'm just working on a video. What are you taking a picture of? I don't uh, want to get the cop. Why? Because you have no business up here. Go. Now. Is it illegal? Go. Please don't yell at me. What's your name? Because you just yelled at me. I don't think you're supposed to. Oh, poor baby. Oh, poor little guy. You can't stand some... Little old lady yelling at you. I mean, good grief, cry me a river of tears and build a bridge over it because you know what? I can't imagine you being in the uh, military, well, boot camp at the very least, because you would not last the very first night. Hello, ma'am. He used to take a picture of me sitting in the break room. Okay. Can you close the door to the break room? Huh? And then... I'm in the break room down there eating my lunch, and he's taking it. See, he's still filming me. Okay. And you're an employee who works I'm here? I'm an employee here for the property appraiser's office. Okay. I don't appreciate that. Nope, I understand. You're doing that. Huh? Do you... Is your supervisor working right now, or...? Is my supervisor here? He's not in the office right now. Would you be able to reach him? Would I be able to reach him? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, if we can try to get a hold of him, I'm just going to call him, and if he wants to do a trespass, I can... How, did, did, did you know that you can't trespass anyone from a public place for exercising their rights? I'm not interfering with anyone's job. I'm not breaking any laws. So as a police officer, if you're really willing to trespass me over somebody else's opinion... You wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Uh, how many times have you been trespassed in, in your life, Aselmo? I don't know. I lost count myself because you are completely lying about that. You know better than that. You're just hoping that nobody else knows that, right? I'm sure that must be it. We have a problem, um, Houston. Like no. No, 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 no. How does trespassing work in a public place? Let's go from there. So how, how does, be, that's why how does trash the supervisor to find they don't have that any is. authority over me here well, that's something that or i'm gonna ask well you should, that's I'm something not actively that, trespassing that's right actually that's and something honestly, that you, this is plant city police think, department's jurisdiction so okay. it's going to be their decision oh, you come to work. there's no there, you. <laughs> you see yes, you. you see you you are um you worry so me because you 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 don't even know how trespassing works good no one's going to trespass me from here Well, for those of you who don't know, this is Ass Elmo. He acts all big and bad until the moment the handcuffs go on, and then when he thinks nobody's looking, that's when it turns into uh, one big blubbering baby in the back of a police car. 
Excuse me, ma'am. You were extremely nice to me. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we have thousands of people watching our show right now. My main purpose here is to document how much the uh, Plant City employees respect our video recording uh, and photography laws. You, Everybody here should have uh, behaved like you did. Even though you still were concerned, and I know that you went and you I, you probably alerted somebody else, you still treated me with respect. Let me ask you something, Asselmo. Why do you have 268,000 subs, but you can't even reach 10,000 views on this particular view within a day of it launching? I've got almost 10,000 subs as it is, and there are days that uh, I hit five, 6,000 on my on my videos, and then there's days that I ended up with 20,000 views on it in, within a day. So I'd say there's something very wrong with your channel, dude. I guess people are really getting sick and tired of your attitude issues. I mean, you're a one-trick pony, unlike certain other frauditors who keep trying to refresh their content and do something different. No. As long as I'm not interfering with your job, you guys can't interfere with mine. This lady was extremely rude to me right now on video. Like I said, we have thousands of people watching our show. So it's uh, it's not good, you know, when a lot of people start calling in and trying to find out who she is. 10, 20, 30, 40, 100, 200 people. You know, like I said, we have over 100 million views in our channel already. Mm -hmm. And there you go, trying to view flex right there. And uh, you know what I call it, actually? I call it the ad populum fallacy. Oh, well, it's actually naturally called the ad populum fallacy. Just because you you have the views doesn't mean that you're the most popular person on the Internet, nor should it uh, mean that we should respect you at all. No, we should pity you because you have nothing better to do than walk around with your stupid camera and annoy people all day. And our rights and our freedoms are not a joke, ma'am. We have uh we have to respect each other and love each other. And if you guys are public employees, you guys should love our freedoms. You should be aware of our constitutional rights before even trying to call the police on anybody or being disorderly. You call that woman being disorderly? Dude, if you watch a lot of your own videos, you're the one who acts disorderly, and you're the one who generally gets kicked out of a building or even arrested for it. So, dude, you don't know what the word disorderly means. Come on now, try again. A little longer than a few minutes later. Are you? Yes, absolutely. Now, awesome. Since when? Since you become a, a US citizen. That's not true. <laughs> that's that's huh? I'm working on a video about the Constitution over here at the courthouse. This is the right place, right? So the First Amendment is not just freedom of speech. It's also freedom of religion. Like she said, this is America. We can believe whatever we want. As Elmo, you can believe whatever you want, but when it comes to reality, you definitely need a reality check because... Well, there are times when you outright lie about everything around you, especially when it comes to uh, recording in courthouses, because you were just right down the street from me in Leon County a while back whenever uh, you got kicked out of the courthouse down there and eventually the Capitol building. Ooh, boy, I wish I'd have known you were there, but alas... I was at work, and you ended up being safe for me that day. If I would have known you were down there at the courthouse, I would have paid you a visit and given you a cam back. You want to believe that your God is, uh, you know, a horse? Really? 
that's disrespectful. But you have the First Amendment right to say that. I believe you're having a bad hair day, but I'm, that's, we're, we don't have to talk about that right now. <laughs> you know? But my point is, sir, we have freedoms in America. Like she said, this is our, this is our America. Right. How many people die for our rights? <laughs> Are you a patriot? Yeah. So am I. You know, even though I'm Puerto Rican, Puerto Rico is uh, owned by the United States for for over a hundred years. You know, so since birth, I'm also an American citizen, and I've been raised here in Florida for more than 24 years. Um, I love the United States. I love America. Oh, you love America. That's all right, huh? But you just don't understand that even in America, there are laws against kidnapping, which you once did, which you once kidnapped somebody. You don't remember that, do you? You don't remember spending time in the slammer for that? So most rights are waived on the way in. On the way in. Second Amendment, obviously, you can't walk in here with a gun. That would be a problem. Right. Uh, you go and ask a lot of public employees about the Third Amendment. Most of them don't really know it. Oh my goodness, dude. Quit babbling about the Third Amendment. The last time there was any relevance concerning the Third Amendment was around the time of the Civil War, you dumbass. And we still haven't lost that right, even though we have have not used it in over 150 years. So that just goes to prove that uh, we're not going to lose our rights if we don't use them. They're written into the Constitution, you bozo. And the only way we're going to lose those rights is, uh, there's an example of that, is when Prohibition came around and there, and it was written in the Constitution that we were not allowed to drink, but that uh, amendment was uh, removed by another amendment, you dumbass. So... There, there's not, and it's really not all that easy to uh, add amendments to the Constitution anyway, considering it takes two thirds of the damn country to agree to it, you freaking idiot. At any rate, guys, I'm tired of listening to this bozo spout off about nothing in particular. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.